Hi, this is Larry Greenblatt, and next up on my Don't Get Blindsided. So I've been doing a series of videos now about things that I hear from students. Dude, I got like 20 questions on, and they didn't expect it. So here's one of them. There's one of them. Uh, so this one's on understanding directives. When, when you govern, I have to give direction on how to govern. It's not just, no, <laughs> I know how to steer. Govern means to steer, but where? <laughs> where am I going? So uh, we do these directions in policies, standards baselines, procedures, guidelines, I listen to. And we want to do it without wasting time and wasting money, right? So we need to meet the scope. I got to get the ship over there and back. Um, how much time and how much money should that cost? And stuff. All right, so in this question, after an effective implementation of a required control, an organization is concerned with unnecessary friction. Which of the following is used to ensure that controls are configured most efficiently? Now remember, all controls add friction. My, my brakes on my car, but I don't want them rubbing. You know? All right. One, user acceptance testing of standards. Clearly defined repeatable procedures. Ensuring system-specific policies. Scoping and tailoring baselines. Let's take a big picture look at what's, what, what we do here. Uh, so when we give directives, policies again give us all the W's. Number one, I always say, don't get that wrong, because if you get this wrong, everything else doesn't matter, but that's another talk. Uh, so who is this applied to? What is the issue? Where does this apply? When does it start? And why? I mean, that's all the policy stuff. Let's say you got to get some clothes. You got to wear a suit. Right? What suit can we wear? What are the standards? When I buy a standard suit, it does not fit me off the rack. <laughs> now, I can't, I can't put on a pair of pants if you know, and, and have it tailored to meet me if they're already too small. So baselines are the bare minimum. If you have a whatever a thirty-three inch waist, you can't put on thirty-two pants and tailor them. You could hopefully they sell 33s, but not everybody does. You know, maybe they got small, medium, and large, or a medium, and all they have are larges. So you're going to have to take the big one and scrap it, right? You don't. I find a lot of my students want to put in standards and immediately step to procedures. No, 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 no. You have to tailor your controls. You have to make sure your cameras are looking at your place. You have to make sure your IDSs are tuned to your traffic. You know, how many uh, characters in the password? At least 15, say. Now, it doesn't mean I can't do more. But I don't want to have like a million character passwords. So, you know, if I can get exactly 15, maybe 16, whatever, right? So that's the baseline. Don't forget baselines. You can't just implement a standard. So, for instance, let's say there's a new policy. And uh, the policy says, who? Hey, customer service. What is it? You must encrypt all customer emails. Where? Well, all international communication. Starting when? Oh, starting January. Why? To address the new blah, blah, blah. Right? But how are you going to do that? I have to first pick a standard. AES comes in small, medium, and large. It comes in 256, 192, and 128. I have to figure out what do I need. That's the baseline. If I, I get 128, it's not going to meet the scope. No, we never short scope. If I put in 256, it'll work, but it'll go out of scope, probably taking more time and costing me more money. I could get exactly 192 if I could. Uh, and if you know anybody that gives you a, a, a TLS handshake or whatever, or an email with the 192, I usually have to go out of scope, but that's another story too. And the procedure is how to encrypt. In the guidelines, you might want to request a receipt. But again, we have to set these because just saying, we use AES. Yeah, but do you do one, at least 192? Oh, I didn't know that. Right? So, yeah, the answer is... is, is uh, it's important that all architectures meet the minimum requirements without going too far out of scope, right? Maybe maybe they didn't have a 33. I could, I could wear 34. Or I could put on a pair of 44s. But that's going to scrap a lot of stuff. And that's really what the difference between, you know, CMM and level one gets it effect effectively done. But by the time you get to four, you measure how much time, how much money, and what people don't like to measure, scrap. And if I can reduce the scrap, I'm a lot more efficient. Bada bing, bada boom. I hope that helped people.
and again, I get, Larry, I got like 20 questions on baselines and the importance of tailoring to meet the scope. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.